As Putin and Russia continue to advance in Ukraine, it is also important to talk about our own Western leaders and how weak they've become. The so-called democratic leaders like Justin Trudeau and Joe Biden, who are the leading voices of NATO, yet they can't even handle their own problems in their own countries. Justin Trudeau, for example, spent the last few months, especially the last few weeks, clamping down on his own protesters and free speech and shutting down all debates to make sure that his own narrative is completely controlled, while he's now, he thinks he has a leg to stand on to speak in favor of ordinary people in Ukraine, talks about freedom and stands up against authoritarianism. Canada and our allies will defend democracy. We are taking these actions today to stand against authoritarianism. The people of Ukraine, like all people, must be free to determine their own future. We will continue working with our international partners to safeguard Ukraine's territorial integrity and prevent further Russian aggression. Really? Uh, he actually said that with a straight face. He didn't laugh, he didn't giggle, he didn't un understand the, the irony of what he was talking about. Are you kidding me, Justin? This is why this is the reason for the rise of Iran, China and Russia. It's because of us of you guys the west and how weak we've become we are way too distracted we're talking about toilets and what to dress like how, how what, what to eat what sort of uh, avocado is the right type of vegan avocado and how to completely shut down everything and completely abandon energy security look at germany for example being completely dependent on russia for gas even here, we're not able to completely utilize our own natural resources. That's why Trump was right to promote energy security in America. You have to make sure you protect your own people and your own country first. And as we go woke, those countries in the East are becoming stronger. You wonder why there's a vacuum? Because we created the vacuum. The Western leaders, Western countries are no longer strong. That's why someone like Putin could be brave enough to do whatever he wants because he knows. We're not doing anything, at least now, so far, until now, nothing to prevent any escalation. Ignore all this symbolic and meaningless sanctions. Nobody takes them seriously. If they were going to take it seriously, the Iranian regime would have fallen decades ago. Russia would have fallen decades ago. None of this matters. None of this actually has any effects. Justin Trudeau, man up.